Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a um, smart TV VPN. Now, a VPN is a virtual private network. Um, it's an encrypted connection to uh, a secure server. Now, people use it for a lot of uh, different things. They use it for um, security. It means that it's much more difficult to access username, accounts, passwords, because they're all encrypted. And the other real reason people use them is to access blocked content on the internet. Um, people will use a, a US VPN to, say, watch American Netflix instead of the version they've got, or if they're in a, they might be in a place where you can't get Netflix. Uh, you, if you connect through a UK VPN, Netflix thinks you're in um, that country, and you can watch whatever you like, or switch to different ones. And people use it for BBC iPlayer, ITV, American stations, Australia, and all over the world. So a VPN is very useful. Um, here is the VPN I use. It's called IdentiCloaker. I use it on my tablet, PCs, and Macs, and stuff like that. Uh, I, it's a subscription account. Um, you've got to pay for a VPN because they're quite expensive to run, and um, they've got to be looked after and maintained 24-7, basically. Um, so it works perfectly from when I want to access a US, I'm in the UK, if I want to access something restricted to the US, like Netflix, US, the US version of Netflix rather, uh, I connect through a US server, um, I can watch Hulu and stuff, disconnect it, and so on. Unfortunately, that's um, fine for a PC or a tablet, I use my account all the time with that, but it won't work on the new generation of smart TVs, which connect directly to these services. Basically, you can't install any VPN client software on these devices. Um, you, there's no way for you to do it. Um, and most of them, the network settings are quite restricted. So how do you get your smart TV, which is connecting to YouTube or Netflix or something like that, how do you switch versions with it? How do you get it to connect to a VPN? I'm going to show you quickly now. Right, what you need is first you need um, a subscription with a VPN service. Say so mine was Identicloaker, with which I pay um, a few bucks a month for that. Not very much. Uh, and next you need a VPN enabled router. And here's mine. Here's the GUI into mine. Mine's an Asus router. Um, this could be your uh, Wi-Fi access point or your modem. It, it just basically the, the the device that connects you to the internet. Um, for this router, the main thing I need is this VPN settings, and I need. You can see mine's got two here: VPN server and VPN client. Now, VPN server is when you want to connect directly into the router. Say you're traveling and you want to connect into your home network. That's the VPN server mode. What we need here, and what I'm going to demonstrate, is the VPN client mode. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set it up on this Asus router. Most modern routers have got this VPN client mode now, okay? But I'm just going to show you quickly. Right, okay, so here's how we set up the VPN. Um, on Identicloak here, these are all settings in the members area. What you do is you select L2TP, or you can use any of these settings. This is the best for Identicloaker. It does work in OpenVPN as well. And I'm gonna. What am I gonna set up? I'm gonna set up a. Um, let's set up a Canadian VPN. Now I'll do this because there's some good stuff on uh, Canadian Netflix. I've got a Netflix account, and I usually use the US version, but the Canadian one's got, although not as much, it's got some. Um, good programs the US and the UK one hasn't got. So, and then I'm going to connect, put in the name of um, the Identity Cloaker um, Canadian VPN server. This is from my member area again. Sorry, I have to, I'll blur this out. This security. Um, and then I put in my username and password. Okay, and I put auto reconnect. No, I'm not going to. And I click OK. Okay, then it sits in my router now. Now it's not doing anything at this stage um, until I press connect. Uh, let me press can. Well, let's yeah, let's connect this Canadian one. And you see it's connecting there. Uh, and boom, it's connected. That's it. Now at this point, it's 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 worth knowing what's happening now. 
At the moment, my router has got a VPN, a, a private encrypted tunnel to a Canadian server. Now, everything from my network is now routed through that Canadian server. So I am basically, I look as though I'm in Canada. So if I go to Netflix, I'll get the Canadian version. If I go to um, any, any website, it'll give me the Canadian version of whatever I try and access. So um, I could go to Netflix now and show you. That'll put me through my U U Canadian Netflix account. Okay. I'm just connecting now. This is the Canadian version, okay, of Netflix, um, because I'm connected through there. I'm just going to close that now. Uh, and basically, this would count for every single device on my network. It, as long as this uh, VPN is up, it'll all go through this Canadian server. So my smart TV will go through this router and it will connect through Canadian. Um, phones, tablets, PCs, everything connected to this router, unless I specify otherwise, will now look, will go through the Canadian VPN. Okay, now um, if I disconnect this, it goes back to normal. So then I will appear to be the UK and I will have a UK IP address. If I wanted to go and ask uh, US Netflix, I just connect to the US VPN and so on. Um, and I could potentially set up, Identicloak has got um, servers in about 30 different countries, so you, can, you could add them all there and have different VPNs to different countries. Now, the only slight drawback here is everything is affected at the same time. So um, you can't say have one phone connected to um, a, a UK server and, a, and then another PC connected to a, um, a US one without establishing the VPN individually. At the moment, everything will default through the router. Okay, um, works brilliant. Um, it's an easier way to set up uh, a VPN uh, if you've got lots of devices and you, you want to switch. And of course, it's the only way to do it for things like um, smart TVs and Roku's and media streaming devices that won't let you actually install any VPN client software on the um, on the device. Uh, just to show you here, what you're looking for with your router, uh, that was an Asus is my my router, but you you must have a router that installs support uh, VPN client mode to do this okay so you're looking here's in Amazon this is a TP link one and we're looking for something like that VPN server client uh, I'm guessing most modern this is only a cheap router um, will will have the VPN client mode but if, if it's important to you or you're buying a new one check before you buy that it has got it okay uh, and that's all that's how you set up a VPN um, client on your router and get your smart TV VPN enabled Right, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.